Thank you everyone for joining via Zoom. I really appreciate it. Um, but my name is Kit Freeman and I will be presenting my undergraduate thesis, which is a paper in the form of um, the presentation today. So the title of my paper is Blake's Method, Blake Imagining Milton um, in the Marriage of Heaven and Hell. So pictured here is William Blake's The Marriage of Heaven and Hell in John Milton's Paradise Lost. Um, William Blake wrote The Marriage of Heaven and Hell in 1790, um, and it is illustrated, written, and printed by him. He did that for every copy of The Marriage of Heaven and Hell. And Paradise Lost was written in London in 1667. Um, fun fact, there are two editions of Paradise Lost, a 10-book edition pictured here, and a 12-book edition edition, um, not pictured. So I'm going to jump right into it so I don't hop time. But my thesis um, for my paper is I'm just going to read it to you and then I'll explain a little. But the marriage of heaven and hell directly calls to paradise lost, warranting an analysis of the relationship between Blake and Milton. And analyzing Blake's reaction to paradise lost, this paper will demonstrate how Blake's criticism of Milton helped shape 20th century criticism, specifically post-war criticism. Criticism. It is Blake's reading of Milton that furthers both the value of their depictions of hell and the boundaries of tradition and criticism. So what my paper attempts to do is showcase how Blake's reading of Milton aided in both criticism and I adds value to both pieces of work, Paradise Lost and The Marriage of Heaven and Hell. So jumping right into the first chapter of my paper or the first slide here is... Um, post-war criticism. So my paper begins with kind of what is the criticism that has come out of Blake reading Milton and how has he kind of, um, how has criticism emerged due to this relationship? So North um, bullet pointed below is um, a little summary of how the critics um, have um, and now get analyzed Blake. So Northrop Fry in the first is the first major critic. Um, he wrote a book called Fearful Symmetry. Um, so he's the first scholar to acknowledge Blake's understanding of Milton, and he argues in the marriage of heaven and hell, Blake was responding into critiquing Milton's idea. So what Fry does is he kind of acknowledges that there is something happening between these two poets. Um, furthermore, Harold Bloom sees that and um but he argues that he does not respond to Milton and offers a particular, um, and he offers a particular reading of Paradise Lost, but it adds a value to Blake as a writer and as an artist, not to Paradise Lost. Um, to summarize my thesis, I am arguing that Paradise Lost and the Marriage of Heaven and Hell both gain value as well as the criticism that emerges out of it and not just William Blake as an artist. Um, Joseph Wittreich, um, in a book called The Angels of Apocalypse, argues that Blake's and Milton's relationship was inspirational, that Paradise Lost added, uh, acts as a jumping off, jumping off point for Blake to write The Marriage of Heaven and Hell, um, that these Miltonic ideas, after being established, um, offer Blake a way to insert his own ideas, um, and we do see like critiquing Milton throughout the book. Morton Paley, um, he's a little different. He's probably my favorite scholar of the scholars that I have read for my paper. But Blake's poem, he argues that Blake's poem is sublime, though Blake will argue that his, um, that Blake's um, definition of sublime is not the same as we know as Burke's sublime. But he argued, um, Paley argues that his energy, Blake's energy, was a manifestation um, of advocating for the body and soul. Um, so what this means is that Blake, um, in critiquing Milton, expunges the idea that the body and the soul are separate entities. So Blake is advocating for the body here, and he wants to break down the binaries that Milton kind of creates, that um, hell is irredeemable, that the body is irredeemable that we both need energy and what we will call reason, um, or what Blake calls reason, which is good. So moving forward. So now we have Blake's reaction of um, kind of, we start to see what my paper wants to do is it wants to analyze the specific points in which Blake is contacting Milton and kind of talking to Milton in the marriage of heaven and hell and how Milton is seen through Blake's active reading of Milton in the Marriage of Heaven and Hell. So pictured here on the left is the opening lines of the Marriage of Heaven and Hell, which I will read to you. Once meek and in a perilous path, the just man kept his course along the veil of death. 
And on the right is Paradise Lost's opening lines, the first five lines um, of man's first disobedience and the fruit of that forbidden tree whose mortal taste brought death into the world and all our woe with loss of Eden till one greater man restores us and regains, regain the blissful seat. So what Milton is doing here that Blake is pointing out is that Milton has created this binary of the fact that Man will fall and it'll be God that will redeem us. Um, when he says restore us and regain the blissful seat, we see that um, Milton writes a sequel kind of called Paradise Regain. Um, however, Blake argues the fact that man will keep his course and it is through progression through both heaven and hell or energy and reason um, that the um, progression will occur. And so he says, as the path is perilous at one point in meek, he will argue the fact that heaven and hell are not quite opposites, but they need to be unionized in order to have this restoration and to have this gaining of knowledge and the perpetuation of both marriage and, I mean, of both heaven and hell. So the second chapter of my thesis um, is called Literary Deviance. And what this chapter does is it, wants, is it wants to analyze how both poets broke tradition, specifically how Milton broke tradition and how Blake is reacting to this tradition. Um, and through his reacting to, 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 to his reacting to Milton's breaking of tradition, we see Blake starting to insert his own new radical, in quotes, um, tendencies that now have become his own tradition. And so Blake did not need to read all of um, Paradise Lost to have a Miltonic undertone in the marriage of heaven and hell, though he did. This is a Morton Paley quote in a regeneration. It is apparent that as Blake read Paradise Lost, he utilized symbolism as well as honored Milton's brushing against antinomian doctrines. So what Blake is pointing out um, is that Milton as a radical, which we have, um, which is in the canon of Miltonic literature, Milton has acted as a radical. And so he kind of brushes against what we call um, antinomianism and Blake is argued to be one. And in that Blake is writing a piece of work that also brushes against antinomian doctrines but also refutes Milton at the same time. By, in doing, by doing that, we see this new value of Paradise Lost because it keeps Paradise Lost alive, but it also offers a criticism of Blake and Milton and how these traditions have changed from when Milton was looking at Virgil to when Blake was looking at Milton. So what my paper really does, um, which I will not dive into today because we'll be here for a very long time, but what my paper really want, what my paper does is um, it kind of sees where Blake's reading of Miltonic tradition changes the idea of how Paradise Lost is valued as well as how criticism is then created because of Blake's reading of Milton. So we see specific pinpoints in which Blake is kind of talking to Milton um, and he's acting to Milton and he becomes an active reader is what I've said earlier. Um, and so we kind of see this, we see this in the depiction of hell, which is the, the baddest point of, or the biggest oof point of my paper. Um, so again, on the left is Blake's plate 14, his 14th plate, um, the marriage of heaven and hell is at heart an illustration. So he writes on plates and he produces them himself, um, which is a really interesting process that kind of represents his thesis. Um, but, and on the right is um, book four, A Paradise Lost, lines 508 through 511. And so here I'm going to read them to you. Um, Blake, the ancient tradition that the world will be consumed in fire at the end of 6,000 years is true, as I have heard from hell. On the right, Milton, while I to hell am thrust, where neither joy nor love, but fierce desire among our other torments, not the least, still fulfilled with pain of longing pieces, longing pines. So Blake believes the world's progression goes beyond the five senses and that hell is where progression and his printing process occurs. Furthermore, Blake argues that knowledge creates the energy he is advocating for. And according to the reason, which is the good that Milton is advocating for, knowledge is not tolerable because knowledge forces action or what we call energy, which is bad, quote. However, Blake counters that argument with proving as to why knowledge needs to be transmitted for the perpetuation of both energy and reason. So the thesis of Blake 
is that we need both in order to become better and in order to evolve into we have something beyond the five senses. Um, so we see Blake carrying Miltonic ideas, reading him, and in doing that, but also Blake combat the Miltonic binary. Um, and so we see this criticism evolving and emerging both academically, but also from Milton and um, from Milton and Blake. So Blake reverses this binary. Um, to um, value evil over good. However, at the end of his, at the end of the book, you do learn that he's advocating for both, in which um, is kind of an imitation of Milton as well. Milton's idea is also shipped throughout Paradise Lost, um, and that is um, obvious that Blake sees that because he takes the opportunity to kind of evolve himself through the writing of Marriage of Heaven and Hell. And so we do get a union of contraries. We get desire and restraint, energy and reason. Um, in hell and heaven. So we do see that Blake is advocating for both the body and the soul, as well as sensual enjoyment, and as well as both heaven and hell, whereas Milton, as though he is advocating for hell as well, and people argue that Satan is a hero of Paradise Lost, we do get this depiction of hell that is the in described is described in the opposite of heaven. So though their existence are needed to be described, um, Blake wants them to exist together in the same room. So do we have any questions? So that is my thesis, um, which I'll be reading on May 5th, but that is my presentation. And thank you guys so much for coming.